What's going on everybody? It is time for World of Warcraft and we're going to talk about making gold with a Legion blacksmithing mount. This mount is a gold mine. It is a mount that is replenishable and is not gated by any cooldowns. What I mean by that is some mounts that you make are gated by cooldown materials. Say for example the Sky Golem. People make money on the sky golem but it takes either i think 20 or 30 um of jarge peculiar energy source uh, actually let's just check real let's just check real quick sky golem so here it takes 30 of jarge peculiar energy source and these have a one day cooldown so the most you're going to make of this sky golem in one month on one character is one because these are um bind on pickup and they have a one day cooldown however the mount that we're going to look at does not have any such ridiculous gating you will have to put in some legwork and uh, i'll explain that here in a second but let's look at the mount first let's go over here to wildhead so this is the mount we're looking at this guy here Steelbound Harness is the item that you're going to be selling um, and crafting. But what it teaches you is the Steelbound Devourer, which is like a, a core hound, except for it is uh, just like fell, right? Like a fell core hound. Now to get this pattern, you do have to have Blacksmithing and Legion. And I wish I could tell you that you, I knew what level it was, but it's sort of all over the board and on Wowhead um the comments are you know you need level 800 which it doesn't even go to anymore it's it's at 100 now uh to craft this or to get the pattern i do know you did need to used to have to have max level to craft this so if you're looking at making gold anyway you're going to want to go ahead and max out your legion blacksmithing because there's some other items that are going to be good as well um, and Legion did a weird thing where you have to like do a bunch of quests. So uh, you'll have to do that. But you can um, get it leveled up. I'll just max it out all the way just to be safe. And then you can craft this thing. But you're going to need the pattern. Here's the pattern. The pattern is a Felcor Hound Harness. And it drops from Tychondrius in the Nighthold. Now we're at what 9.2 right now Shadowlands at the time of this video and people's item levels you can easily be like 240, 250, 236 and you should have no problem uh, annihilating Tachondrius in the Nighthold. It does have to be on normal or higher for the pattern to drop. It says here that it's a 2% drop chance and um, when it was current people were debating whether you needed max level uh, blacksmithing which was 800 at the time or not. I was max level when I farmed mine, uh, and it was later in the Legion expansion, so I was pretty geared, so I was in, like just doing transmog runs, uh, and it dropped for me like my first time ever doing it. So I don't know if I just got super lucky or what. Um, so I don't have any experience farming this plant outside of I went in there and killed the guy and got it. But that's how you get it. And it's going to be worth it, right? Even if it's something you do once a week to try to get it. It doesn't take that much time, especially because you can solo it now. And this is going to make you a ton of gold. I'll show you. Let's go back over here to uh, the game. Let's bring up our crafting. Blacksmithing. And uh, let's just look up uh, Demon. Because it takes Demon Steel Bars. Bill Core Hound Harness. You look at the tooltip, it's going to cost me 8,800 gold to make, and it is selling for 35,000 is the minimum buyout. This TSM hasn't been uh, updated in almost 24 hours. I tried to update it before the video, but it was, it was glitching or something, and I can give you all the info you need uh, right here. Because it tells you the market value is 31, historical price value is 27, so even if you take the historical price, right? And you take 8,000 away from that uh, profit, you're still going to be making 
almost 20,000 gold. And you can repeat this over and over. You can have 10, 15 of these up at one time. There's no, there's no uh, cooldown gating, which is amazing. So let's look at what it actually takes to make it. It takes 10 Felhide. Now Felhide are a little expensive. They are 210 right now <clears throat> uh, on my server. Uh, but if you have a in leather worker um, that has some skill points in legion skinning, there's actually a daily, um, well, it's not a daily, it's a world quest mob that has a chance to pop up. You kill it, you'll one-shot it at this point in, in uh, Shadowlands. And you can skin it and you'll get Felhide. And even if you have that on a couple characters, right? I mean, you could just kill that, skin it, and sell these for $200 a piece. Uh, I'm sorry, 200 gold, not dollars. Yikes. Anyway, so it takes the fell hide, which you can get off the auction house. You can get all this stuff off the auction house except for one item, by the way. So if you wanted to go that route, you could do it. Then you're going to need Infernal Brimstone. Uh, this, same deal. You can buy these from the auction house. And I, I just picked these up, actually, for 75 gold each. I know that the minimum buyout says 150. It's outdated. Uh, somebody had posted 55 of them for 75 gold. So I just went ahead and bought 55 of them. You're going to need Demon Steel Bar. Now, even if you didn't want to craft these mounts or if you didn't have the, the mount recipe yet, look at these Demon Steel Bars. You can craft these things. And right now, um, I'm cra my crafting cost is like 50 gold. And they're selling for like 400, right? Um, the historical price is 44. But it's been up a lot recently. And here's the Demon Steel Bars. It's Fell Slate. Two fell slate and one laystone ore. So this fell slate still sells pretty good, right? Anywhere between 10 and 20 gold each. Uh, that's more than the current ore goes for a lot of the times. So you figure where TSM is getting this um, cost at down here, it is calculating these at me crafting them, right? Not me buying them at $400 or 400 gold each. So anyway, you got 40 uh, and then these are like 10, so 50, and you craft those. Now, to craft those, you do have to do something uh, a little special. And if you're leveling up your blacksmithing, it's going to be part of the quest line that you're doing anyway in Legion. But you're going to have to come here to the Iron Horn Enclave in High Mountain. And that's the only place that you can craft these uh, demon steel items. Any kind of demon steel or demon steel items have to be crafted here on this. Um, uh, stone right here, the firmament stone. I thought there was like a fancy name for it, but this is where you have to craft it at, right? Legion did this thing where if you were crafting certain items for different professions, you have to go to like certain places. So that's where you got to go here, Ironhorn Enclave, to make the demon steel bars. Now, the last thing that we need to look at getting isn't something that you can buy off of the auction house, and it's not something that you can necessarily farm a ton of in one day so there is a limit to how many you could sort of get uh, per day depending on what's going on that day um, because when they drop from mobs uh, it, they don't drop very often and that's the blood of Sargeras now there's a few ways to get this you can do mission tables uh, your legion mission table will have these as a reward sometimes um, or what I do a lot of times is I'll just log on to my uh, blacksmith and I'll just check the world quests. So like right now, there's one right here for six. Kill five uh, hill ettons in one hill prince. That's going to take you like five seconds, right? It's not going to take you long if you're max level in Shadowlands. And then I just did one before this video that was up here. And it was like turn in like 30 stonehide leather or something and I got three, right? And then uh, yesterday I did one in the Broken Shore and it was uh, like kill 10 demons and it was for 10 of them. So I killed 10 demons, took me like 20 seconds and I got 10 of them. And like over here you got one Enigma solved, it's like a puzzle and you'll get two. So you can farm them that way, which is what I do. You just stop in and do these little quests, doesn't take long. I just do them as they come up if I got time for it. Uh, to build up my um, stockpile of them. Or like I said, you can do the uh, mission tables. Or if you have reputation with, I think, the wardens, you can buy a boon that goes on your shoulders. If you really want to go hardcore, you can go kill a bunch of mobs and um, 
I hope for some drops. But for what I do, I usually, you know, make a couple of these a week. I just go and do the world quests. So that's what you need to make them. Let's go ahead and make one, right? Because these are sweet. Um, what did that say? I feel like that said something. Oh, I probably have to be closer to this. Yeah, so you got to be closer. There we go. You got to be closer to the, uh, to the animal. There we go. And then we got our steel bound harness. And let's go ahead and post that on the auction house real quick. See my sweet Brutosaur mount, letting you know that I'm an OG hardcore gold maker. We're just going to go over here to sell. And we are going to find our... Steel bound harness right down here. And we're going to post it up. And look at this, right now there's only nine. And it's selling at a uh, daily, uh, regional, I'm sorry, region average daily soul is 0.4. That's pretty good for an item like this. So we're going to create the auction for 24 hours. Boom. Now we're the 10th seller up there. So there's not a lot of competition for 35,750 gold. And we're going to make about 26,000 gold on it, which is going to be awesome. And so, like I said, you can drive that price down if you want to uh, get your own infernal brimstone and fell hide. But that's pretty much how you make it. And uh, that is a pretty easy way to make gold. Remember, though, you will have to do some leg work if uh, you're not maxed out in Legion blacksmithing. You're going to want to do that. You're going to need to farm the pattern from Tychondrus and the Nighthold. Um, and you are going to need to learn all the Demon Steel stuff. And you're going to need to be at this specific uh, little anvil right here. So I hope you all found this helpful. And if you're looking for a, a good way to make gold long term, I hope that you seriously consider getting the pattern for this steel bound harness. And the best thing about this, and I can't stress this enough, is you're not gated by any CDs, uh, daily cooldowns. You're not gated by any... Um, parts like some of the engineering ones uh mounts from bfa you have to you know farm these parts this mount you can buy all of it from the auction house except for the sargeras blood of sargeras and you can pick those up really really easy and you know it's not going to take you much to keep one or two of these up on the auction house um at all times so thanks everybody for stopping by. If you like the content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, go ahead and hit that like button. And until the next time we talk about Warcraft, I'm going to be in here chilling on my big old dino, waiting to make some more gold on the auction house. And I hope you all go out there and grind too. Remember, if all else fails, it's just a game. Don't get frustrated. Keep it real. And I'll catch y'all later.